this is the two year anniversary of that time that India and Pakistan almost went to war. Uh, and America kind of didn't talk about it at all, except for that one racist joke that Trevor Noah did. I, I did this uh, as a stand up bit two years ago at the Art House Projects in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Um, sold out show, beautiful little gallery. Fuck, I miss it. Uh, and I put it, I put the little clip up online, the stand up bit online. But I want to talk about this thing, right? Because I still don't think Americans really know that this kind of shit even happened. So this was, um, I was there two years ago. Uh, I was on my honeymoon with my now ex-wife, and that's what we'll refer to her for the rest of the story, the ex-wife. And, uh, you know, we we, we, we landed, uh, we skipped over Valentine's Day, it was fine, it was great. Um, and uh, we got through, and, all, and we kept hearing these rumblings, right? We kept hearing these rumblings about, like, something happened. Uh, something happened with Indian troops. Something happened with Indian troops. And, and everything was on high alert. There, there was a lot of security at the airport, more than usual. We're very confused about it. We finally, a day or two after we caught up with our jet lag and everything, we find out that there was a terrorist attack. It was like the first terrorist attack in a long time um, a, 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 on Indian soil. This group named Jem did it, right? Uh, all these terrorists, they, they always have these like, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like if you're a terrorist organization, you should have a scarier name, but like Jem just sounds like, you know, you're a fucking jeweler. It's like, oh, did this jeweler attack them? Uh, but they were, they're were a terrorist organization. They're camped out in Pakistan, uh, on the Pakistan border. And Pakistan hasn't really done anything about them. They've kept their distance from them. And so they attacked Indian troops. Uh, I believe 40 soldiers might have uh, died. I think 40 soldiers did die. And uh, so, you know, they had a memorial and things of that sort for them. Uh, but then Congress was immediately called in action and they were like, hey, everybody needs to show up. This is fucking, this is serious shit. Uh, so they showed up and they were like, we got to boycott Pakistan. We got to push them to, to you know, get rid like, say that this was bad and we got to get them to get rid of this terrorist organization. We got to push them to take, uh, take military action against this terrorist organization because this was their fault because they didn't do anything about this organization and they're on their soil and so on and so forth. And there was like one guy and they were pushing like for military, like for violent escalation. There was one guy, I believe his name was Sidhu, right? He's, um, Please do correct me if I'm wrong on this, if there are Indian people watching. I believe he's Punjabi. Uh, and he also, like, sometimes guest stars on this, like, weird slapstick comedy show. Uh, and he basically came out and was like, hey, I don't know if we should do that. Maybe we should try diplomacy. Maybe we should talk to Pakistan about how they can get rid of this terrorist organization from their borders because it kind of seems like it's a problem for them, too. And it's a problem that is so controversial and difficult that they've just chosen to ignore it. Uh, and maybe we should support them in trying to like eradicate terrorism from this region because it seems to be a hotbed for terrorism. And maybe we can come to like some kind of armistice or something. And the rest of Congress looked at that guy and they were like, Hey, fucking fire that guy because we're going to blow some shit up. That's what we're going to do. So fuck you for suggesting peace and diplomacy. You asshole. This is this is how we do things. We're India, so they bombed uh, where they thought Jem was hiding, right? And Pakistan was basically like, "Yo, I don't think you guys actually bombed those terrorists. I think you bombed a tree line, like you just blew up a bunch of fucking trees." And India was like, "No, nah, we got them. We nailed it. We're pretty cool. We're pretty awesome." Did you guys see our fighter jets? They're pretty cool. Uh, and Pakistan was like, "I don't, I don't think you did. I think you guys need to prove." like that you actually like hit the terrorist camp. So they got this grainy footage from some company in, in San Francisco. Uh, and then they were like, see those dots on this weird grainy footage. Uh, that's the terrorist encampment. And uh, that's uh, what we blew up. Mic drop. Right. And the rest of the world looked at this and they were like, I don't know if this is like an ultrasound or if it's like a fucking abstract modern art painting. I'm not really, do you? I can't really make anything out of what's happened there. And India was like, no, 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 we got it. We nailed it. Uh, no further questions. Right. And so Pakistan 
you know, in order to retaliate with this, because they did go into their country and blow up a piece of it. Uh, when Indian aircraft, uh, Indian Air Force planes were flying through Pakistan, they shot one of them down and essentially held the pilot hostage for 48 hours. Now, at the exact same time that this was this happened, the president of Pakistan, uh, Imran Khan, he went in and gave the speech about, uh, you know, peace and understanding that this is not the time for escalation. This is not the time for war. This is the time for us to come together and da 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 da. Uh, also, we do have uh, a pilot uh, hostage as a prisoner of war, but really, this is the time of peace. And everybody was like, I don't think you understand uh, how peace works. And maybe the, the sentence that you just said, because you, you said this is the time of peace, but we also have a prisoner of war. Very questionable things. I don't know if you know this, but those are very, two very different things. Uh, just a heads up. Uh, maybe you should consult a dictionary uh, or just like a regular person that understands words uh, to before you say them out loud. Uh, or something else you could do, this is my mom used to say this to me, is maybe you should think about things before you just word vomit them out and sound like a big dumb dummy. Uh, so <laughs> those 48 hours, India and Pakistan essentially almost went to the brink of war. Because India was like, well, we'll fucking escalate and we'll come in there with our army and our air force and our navy and our nuclear weapons and we'll fucking get that dude out of your fucking prisoner of war camp. And Pakistan was like, yeah, we'll try it. We got our army and our navy and our marines and our nuclear weapons and we'll fucking come over there and kick the shit out of your armies and shit. And for 48 hours, this thing was just like escalating. Everybody's watching this going like, what the fuck is actually happening right now? <laughs> right. And I'm on I'm on my honeymoon and all this crazy shit's happening. And I'm like, am I going to be are we going to be able to get on our plane to like get back to my aunt's place, pack up and go to the next location we want to fucking go to? You know, like or are we going to be in a fucking war zone? I don't know. <laughs> shit's crazy right now. Eventually, the, the pilot did get um, released back into Indian custody, and everything was fine. Everything got de-escalated, right? And there was an election, and then there was an investigation um, to see if, the, if, if Jem was provoked by uh, Indian officials to attack uh, the Indian military because it was like this publicized, like things, things just didn't add up about what was going on with the troops that were there like why were they moving through that particular region they knew that region was occupied by terrorists like it seemed like they were getting real close to the battleground and so it seemed like they they manufactured consent for war uh my understanding as far as i know was uh well and then it became like the bjp were was trying to basically use that as a point of nationalism to help get elected right we will keep security of india as the bjp blah, 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 blah. and you know and and they, and it and it worked apparently uh but as far as i know like nobody has come out and confirmed like okay this was kind of a manufactured consent for war to tr for political gain kind of thing um but that's what happened 2 years ago the only coverage I heard of in America was Trevor Noah making a racist joke about how it would be the most entertaining war you've ever seen because Bollywood. Da, 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 da. And then people in India got pissed and they were like, hey, you know, there's like this is like escalating tension, like people might die here and you're making a shit joke about it. Like maybe you should stop doing lowbrow humor. Maybe you should stop doing racist fucking humor. And if you want to cover this, like there's a better way to cover this. Still, the um, again, like the World Socialist website is the only the only website that talked about uh, the fact that the 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 folks that are um, put together the farmer strike led a candlelight vigil for the lives that were lost at Pawama. Since then, I mean, this was a huge hit. Forty soldiers. In America, we'd be talking about it every year. In India, it's oddly silent about it. I understand the culture is probably different, but it is odd silence, right? And the and uh, corporate media in America, or even in the UK, not a fucking word, not a fucking word. So, 
uh, I just wanted to bring that up uh, and, and remind folks that, hey, uh, we, uh, you know, we almost went to war in India. India, Pakistan almost went to war and nobody decided to fucking cover it. Uh, we got a comment. Uh, a, a dingo ate me, baby. Good to see you again, uh, Gem. They are truly outrageous. Yeah, they're. I mean, they're 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 uh, they're a terrorist organization, so they're they're not fun people. Like what happened in India was a tragedy, and and it seemed like it was an orchestrated tragedy, which makes it even worse. Uh, so, with all that said and done, I know this was a longer stream than normal. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do... Uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows the forkful of noodles live virtual comedy shows uh the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website but if you're also on financial stable ground you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member which gets you free tickets and bonus content and go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to to make any kind of financial contributions but if you can't it's not a necessity most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H -H -A -H -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.